Singapore is charting its path deeper into the growing global space economy. It's funneling more investments in R&D to build capabilities such as satellite tech, AI and space communications. A space tech program will be getting $150 million for tertiary institutions and companies to work together on new innovations. Ilakia Selvaraji with this report. Shooting for the stars in the space economy, Singapore now wants to launch itself further into this universe of opportunities. It includes a vast array from satellite communications to manufacturing and repair in outer space. The government will work closely with the Singapore companies to build deep technology capabilities, support the tra translation of research and technologies into commercially viable solutions, and nurture internationally competitive companies. I encourage local researchers working in adjacent domains such as robotics, AI, material science, and even urban solutions to explore if your technologies can be applied to space applications and vice versa. Mr Gunn was speaking at a major Asia Space and Technology Convention attended by business leaders from 30 countries. And part of the country's new space strategy is to link up with other spacefaring nations. This is to help train local talent and give startups a foothold in the sector. The event also saw deals inked between companies and Singapore's leading space NGO. These will increase trade and investment between UK and Singapore-based tech startups give specialised logistics services to more Asia space firms. Space is, you know, it can be seen as a new economic pillar in, in some ways. The number of companies coming together locally is also increasing. More people are delving into space. For example, you know, over the pandemic, you have seen connectivity become a cornerstone. You know, everybody needs to be connected. You know, you, you need to be digitalized. And satellites actually play a very critical role. SSTL is also tying up with the Singapore Land Authority to develop more precise satellite positioning and earth observation for real-world problems. A lot of times working from home, we, we do a lot of grab or the other companies as well. No ambiguity about you know which gate to pick me up from because it's so precise, then there is no... Uh, and you save a lot of time. Not just time, but it's, it's, it's cost efficiency and it's also better fleet management. So far, there are more than 80 space firms in Singapore and the global space industry is is estimated to reach around 1 trillion US dollars by 2040.